Hi, so this is how I do the Happy Hippos newborn flawless pre-flat. So what I've already done is cut out two um, cotton jersey templates, which are going to be my outer and inner layer. Uh, and what I'm going to show you now is more or less what I did with the cotton jersey, but this time using a hemp cotton jersey. So I'm going to just take a washable felt tip uh, and place it on my fabric and just, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I have just taken a piece of fabric and folded it over in two so that I only have to trace once and then cut once and then I will have to. I'm just gonna go ahead and line this up and trace it. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. So you want to make sure that you're using a washable marker, of course, so that it does not appear on the final pre-flat. And just a note about something called GSM. So GSM is grams per square meter, and it refers to the thickness or the weight of the material. So with a pre-flat, you'll be looking to aim for a combined total, so when the pre-flat is folded, of 2000 GSM. So this material that I'm using here, this hemp cotton fleece, is a GSM of 340. So I'm using two of them. So that is 680 altogether. Uh, and then you need to times whatever GSM you come up with by three, because the idea of a pre-flat is you fold it into thirds in the wet zone, um, and then that will give you the GSM. So, I have got that trace. Uh, something that I really like about this pattern as well is that when you place it on a piece of material, which is half a metre uh, wide, you will have enough space on the edge to also do the um the soaker or the doubler as it might be known so that is very useful however in this instance i am i don't think i'm planning on, on doing that i have some lots of soakers that i've made which i want to actually add into my pre-flats so i don't need to make any more so i'm not going to personally do that on this occasion so What you want to do now is take the pattern side, uh, right, side right side facing down, um, take a layer of hemp fleece, right side facing up, and lay them together. And then turn it over and just match it up approximately. To be honest, I cut this when my baby was being really fussy on my lap, so it wasn't cut perfectly. And now you want to take the next layer of cotton jersey and put it right side facing down, line it up approximately, and then take the final layer of hemp jersey, and right side facing up.
so that you've got a nice sandwich of material here. So what we're going to do is stitch around and leave a turning hole. And then when we turn it inside out, it will be right sides facing um, and the nice soft layer of the fleece will be on the inside of our print book then. Um, this is a booster that I've made before. So this is actually a muslin cloth, which um, I think was too small to use as a as an actual flat nappy. So I've just stitched it around the edges. I think um, three, maybe four, one, two, three, maybe four layers thick. Uh, and it, it fits nicely in the middle there. Um, I don't like sewing in boosters. I prefer lay-in boosters. Um, so if I was going to sew it in, I would be marking on my material uh, the place where it needs to be sewn in. Um, so that's just an optional step for you. So it's time to get sewing. Um, so something I did off camera, I like to sometimes put a uh, little sewing line on there, a little seam allowance line, uh, just to make sure that I'm capturing all layers of fabric as I'm sewing. Um, it's not essential though. Um, so I've got my machine threaded, I've got my tension set on four, I've got my stitch length set on two and a half approximately, um, and I've got a straight stitch set up. Um, and I've just tested it off camera as well, and it, it's all fine. So let's uh, go ahead and, and sew this. So whenever you have a curve that goes inwards, we're gonna um, just cut some slits towards the material like this. I mean, I'm sorry, towards the curve, cut the slits into the material towards the curve. Um, and that will help make a nicer, um, flatter um, appearance when we turn the pre-flat right way around. And then whenever you have a curve going outwards, like on the flaps here, then we're going to cut triangles. Okay, so if you um, are unsure about this, you can look up, it's called clipping and notching curves uh, when top, turning and top stitching. Okay. Okay, so it should look something like this. So uh, if you see here, I actually miss a couple of the layers. Um, it shouldn't be the end of the world. I'll just catch it with the top stitching when it comes to it. Uh, what I like to do now is trim the bolt. Sorry, so keep getting um, distracted by the baby. So in the meantime, I have folded over the edges of where I'm going to hem. Um, and I've used the line that I drew to make sure that it's approximately the same size. 
is the rest of the hem and I've clipped it shut uh, and now I'm just going to top stitch all over. Um, I think I should do this before. There is a obviously a little flaw here where my stitching didn't quite catch all the material but I'm not too bothered about that obviously. If that was a major issue you could just unpick the stitching and, and redo it. You should now have something that's a bit like this. Obviously, if you had have pressed it beforehand, like I should have, this would look nice and flat with a big 